Marissa. And I'm Cross, and we've been going to Journey for a few years now. We've been able to get into some community at Journey um, through just the small groups. Uh, we joined one last fall. We chose Journey out of all the churches here in Bend just because it is a very scripture-focused church, teaching what the Bible actually says and how to apply it to your life. At the time of Moore, we were only 23 years old. We had just gotten married, just moved. He started a master's program for teaching. I had a secure job, but it was not the best paying job. The culture for 23-year-olds is to start building your finances and holding on to things or spending money on something that's gonna make you feel better. God is asking us to honor Him with our first fruits instead of trying to honor ourselves. I think it was just us realizing that it was a great call on something practical to do in our faith. When we first kind of made our commitment to the MORE initiative, we had decided to stretch ourselves even further than what 10% uh, would have been for us to give. Three days later, I lost my job and that was our main breadwinner. So at that point we were like, how are we gonna even make our first tithe? Like we have no source of income right now. We decided that we're just gonna trust him and continue moving forward with what we had promised God that we were gonna give him. It's easy to be faithful in the easy times, but it was really like, this is when the rubber's hitting the road. This is when great things happen. And we feel the Holy Spirit saying, this is right. It's okay, it's scary, but it's gonna be better because of this. After I came home and told Cross that I had lost my job, and that following month, he got the most jobs and brought in the most income that he ever has to this date. As I was home alone searching for new jobs and stuff, I would see a job and I would just kind of be like, God, should I apply for this? As I interviewed for where I currently work, I just really felt like God saying, this is the one, like go for this one. I found out that I got the job in the middle of a Mexican restaurant. I was just blown away that A, I had gotten the job and then what my new salary was gonna be. I was like, I can buy all the tacos now. <laughs> the storm right after the more commitment really was God's answer to our prayers asking for more. Like, we got more money. I have a more confidence in Him. I take more time to pray. I am like finally starting to let go and being like, no, God's got this. I've gotten a raise out of cycle at work. Most of my coworkers are atheists. I'll show up with my mug with the more flame. I get an opportunity to kind of tell them, this is from my church. It's Journey Church. It's by Goodwill. You should check it out. It's a boldness I've never had before to be able to talk about that. We have gone from a kind of a burden of being able to provide for ourselves, relinquishing that. Now, the burden is so much lighter and therefore us so much freer. Yeah, I feel like I have a stronger testimony now. I can really confidently say this is how God moved in my life. This is how he changed me and I'll never be the same. All I have to say for someone who's looking, questioning if, is that there's literally no reason to wait. God's not going to fail you. It's going to be so much better, so much more um, than anything that you could ever dream of or hope for.